Hello everyone, my name is Python Jimmy and welcome back to another 10 minutes of Hardcore Minecraft. This is episode 52 and when we left off we were constructing ourselves a zombie XP grinder. Now as you can see since the last episode I have done exactly what I said I was going to do and I finished the XP grinder. Now as you can see this is my little collection area, this is where I store all the stuff that I've got or will get more to the point and as I said in the last episode also I'm going to show you exactly what the process is so in fact I'm going to leave them there for the time being so basically what happens is the zombies spawn they fall into this little lake they go up here so they go all the way up as you can see I've marked it as well so I've got numbers on there so 13 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, and on the 24th block, they go across, and then they go downwards, so when it gets to the last piece of uh, water that can flow, you go down a block, so you can extend the water flow, and basically it goes all the way to the end, and I know I'm not going to die from this, so hopefully I'm right, so they just fall down here, and then... They will be weakened to the point where I can basically just go ahead and one-shot them with, I don't know, an iron sword or a wooden sword or just something. And then I can get my XP, I can get my stuff going and it's fantastic. It's real nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and regen a little bit of health before I go ahead and let the uh, let the zombies do their spawning work. Because, you know, I don't particularly want to be hit by one because they'll probably spawn in my fate. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can understand that. But whatever the case, when it comes to the next map download, which of course is on episode 55, because I do map downloads every five episodes in this series, then you'll, you'll have yourselves a zombie XP grinder. I myself probably won't use it all too much, I just want to use it to get enough XP to enchant all of my diamond armor to level 30 standard, so we can have ourselves a nice set of armor when it comes to finishing off this series and uh, getting the ender dragon killed. So yeah, let's go ahead... Let's take these dudes down. Oh, right, here they go. Here they go. So, here they go. They're going to go in there and then they go up the chute. There you go. He's, go. He's doing it. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually working. Holy crap. All right, all right, we need to go to the collection area now. Let's just go ahead and barricade that off. Let's go down to the collection area and let's wait for our little zombie buddy to fall down to his almost death. Yes, almost death. We'll see how many punches it takes for me to kill him. Yes, right. Okay, it shouldn't take too long. So, the good thing about this design is, no matter where you are, you're still within the spawning range of the mob spawner, because I think it's 16 blocks. But, if you're more than 16 blocks away from the spawner, it won't spawn. It's either 16 or 8, I can't actually remember. But, I am within spawning range, so of course the zombies will keep spawning, they go up the chute, along the ladder, or along the water, and then down here. So, let's see how many punches it takes. One, two, three. Okay, that's, that's not too bad, I could probably do this all with my fists. Alright, so here's what's, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a chest full of zombie flesh. I'm gonna have a chest full of the rare mob drops in terms of the carrots, the iron ingots, and the potatoes. We're gonna have non-enchanted items and weapons and armor, and then enchanted weapons, armor, and stuff. So, see that? There we go, we just got an iron ingot from that dude, so that one would go in there. So, you know, it's all pretty cool, it's gonna be nice and organized. It's gonna be pretty cool. I love this. Oh my god, that guy dropped a freaking shovel. What the hell? I'm getting rare mob drops out of the zombies' asses. Okay, that's that's pretty fun, I guess. I like that. Hey, buddy. You're dead. Fool. So here's what I need to do. I want to try and get myself a looting sword. Because, uh, because then, if the zombies have armor or any weapons or items, then I can just go ahead and uh, kill them. And there'll be a higher chance of me getting the weapons and stuff from them. So that'd be pretty damn cool. Right, I'm not going to stay here for the entire episode though, we do need to go ahead and do some other stuff in the meantime. Like for example, we can go ahead and simply pick up our ender chest with a silk touch pickaxe, because we have one, and that is pretty damn cool. And we can go back to the old part of the world and uh, get some more stuff to put in the ender chest. So, you know, we want to be prepared when going to fight the ender dragon. We also need to go ahead and make some potions, if I haven't already. I can't remember if I have or not, in which case I'm a huge derp, and I apologise. <laughs> Oh man, ooh eat. Look at my nicely decorated house. It looks rather fantastic, does it not? Oh man, look at it. It's got like a hardened clay, like a red carpet. Except it's not a carpet at all. Yeah. Right, so I've got my silk touch pickaxe. So, the good thing with ender chests, if you didn't already know, is if you break them, the inventory will be contained inside. And of course, if you have a silk touch pickaxe, you could just go ahead and get the ender chest itself, so you don't get the obsidian back. So, you know, that's pretty damn cool. And I did go ahead and place a nether portal in here, so we don't have to go all the way back to the desert to go back to the old part of the world. So hopefully, this should spawn us back in our old nether fortress. I really hope so, anyway. 
Otherwise, I- Oh! Oh! Get out! Get- What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! Why would you do that? <laughs> that was not funny! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, I was more scared than usual because I know that you can still die from a creeper direct impact if you have iron armor on. I know that is still a thing that can happen. That's, oh my god, that genuinely scared me. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, okay. okay. I guess that's, I guess that's pretty cool. I yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, we can go and do a bit, little bit of uh, blaze farming because we need to do that. If we're going to make ourselves loads of ender eyes so we can go ahead and make, uh, or get to the stronghold more to the point, we're going to need some blazes and blaze rods. There we go. Nice amount of XP come from them as well, obviously. Next to the ender dragon, the uh, blazes give the most XP in the game of any mob. So that's pretty cool. I think it'll give you like 10 XP as opposed to 5 like every other mob. I think like animals give you like 1 or 2. I don't know. I don't know entirely. I'm not entirely sure of the numbers. But uh, yes, right. I'm, I'm still fearing for my life. I'm not going to lie right now. Hello. Why don't you spawn like two at a time? And then we can go from there. I can get my blaze rods and I shall leave you in peace. Oh, that's that's three. That's not... Good, good. Okay, right. That's okay. I'm still alive. I'm okay. I'm okay. I've got three blaze rods. I'm still okay. Oh! Why would you do this to me? That is just so freaking dis... That is disrespectful. Did you see that? It spawned in my face. See, that's Minecraft for you. Minecraft is trying to kill me. That is the only explanation I can offer you guys. Minecraft is trying to kill me. It's trying to get me killed. It doesn't want me to bloom and defeat the Ender Dragon. Hey, buddy. Oh, no. Well, that was a bad idea. Hey, buddies. Oh, God. I want my sword back. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And give me that. Uh, okay, I think that's a good amount. There we go, 14 levels and 6 blaze rods. Alright, not too shabby. Alright, so, if I remember correctly, the way back to the old part of the world is over this way and down some stairs. So, that is fantastic. Hello? Ooh, glowstone. I can use my silk touch pickaxe to get them. Mmm, and it will give me the glowstone blocks and not dust. So, that's pretty damn cool. Alright, let's go downstairs and back home. My god. That creeper was enough scary stuff for one day, and me freaking dropping my sword like a noob <laughs> against blazes, so I had to try and kill them with a stone axe. So, that was a thing I did. <laughs> what did you do today, Python GB? Well, I dropped my sword when trying to kill some blazes, and I almost got killed by a creeper. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's, let's just have a bit of a drink, because I'm kind of parched right now. Hmm. My good old can of coke. Right, okay, what have we got in here? Loads and loads of coal. Right, where the hell should we put this, actually? We haven't got a proper place. Right, just for now, I'm going to go ahead and put it there, because I don't really have any use for it being anywhere else, to be honest with you. There we go, 64 diamonds. My god, look at all this iron. I've got to make blocks out of these, I'm sorry, but this is not a very effective storage method, is it? My god. All right, let's do this. We're going to make many, many iron blocks from this. Bloody hell. Are we got... Ah, oh, crap. Are we going to make half a stack? That'd be awesome. I've messed that up, haven't I? I've really messed that up. Right, there we go. Good lord. There's so much. I keep failing to apprehend the simple mission of making iron blocks. I've nearly got a full stack of iron blocks. I can make seven diamond blocks, which is pretty cool. Whoa. That's so awesome. Look at all of this. I've got so much stuff. Got all my gold ingots in here. I've got some more gold blocks. I can... <gasps> what? Hold the phone. Hold the freaking phone. We are going to end the episode by making a second golden apple. Not just golden apple. Oh my god, this is going to be so awesome. Anyways, I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now... We're going to get our two Notch's Golden Apples and put them in the end of the chest. <laughs> I've got two of these mother fobs. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Two Golden Apples. That's amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys next time.